hello friends welcome back to all about structural analysis and uh, design so in this video we shall see what is meant by doubly reinforced beam okay so what is doubly reinforced beam there will be a always confusion between singly reinforced and doubly reinforced beam so it is a type of beam which has reinforcement in tension zone as well as reinforcement in compression zone okay if you go back to singly reinforced beam and our rcc concept it was based on the reinforcement is provided in tension zone because the concrete is not taking tension or it is weak in tension and it is good in compression that's why we were placing the steel in the tension zone but this is the type of beam in which we are placing the reinforcement in tension zone as well as in compression zone okay but why we are providing the reinforcement in compression zone that will be the second question so when to go for a doubly reinforced beam that is also a major part of the question so when applied ultimate moment that is mu okay in our previous videos i have shown you how to calculate the mu for this uh, singly reinforced beam moment of resistance okay when mu is larger than limiting moment okay this also we have seen mu limit when mu is larger than mu limit we have two choices okay whenever your ultimate moment is exceeding limiting moment there will be two choices either you have to increase the depth of the section that is capital d or provide compression reinforcement okay there are only two choices either you can go for increasing the depth or you provide compression reinforcement but due to various restrictions only choice is to provide compression reinforcement thus giving rise to doubly reinforced beam okay there are various other restrictions okay uh, for example architectural reason or uh, this uh, what you can say the appearance of a particular uh, building we cannot go for higher depth okay we cannot provide higher depth of a beam that's why the only choice remains is providing the compression reinforcement okay so doubly is provided in the following circumstances okay when there are depth restrictions okay either architectural point of view or uh, whatever headroom you consider or uh, appearance wise there will be restrictions always re restrictions okay so depth is fixed that's why we go for doubly reinforced beam in continuous beam floor system okay in continuous beam floor system what happens where the beam acts as a t beam in the mid span and acts as a re rectangular beam at the supports where the bending moment be much greater than the mid span okay during the or at the corners the bending moment will be more okay compared to mid span that's why we go for again doubly reinforced beam okay where it is required third point where it is required to increase the stiffness of the beam stiffness as you know which is the uh, which resists the deformation in response to the applied load when you want to increase the deformation that time you can go for a doubly reinforced beam and compression still increases the ductility of the structures and the structures with high ductility respond better in seismic forces so these are the four uh, points or the four uh, criteria when we go for doubly reinforced beam so mostly when the moment is uh, larger we go for doubly and also when we have the depth restrictions we go for doubly reinforced beams so this is the graphical representation of doubly reinforced section so doubly reinforced section comprises of singly reinforced section and plus the additional reinforcement and also the compression reinforcement which you are going to provide in compression zone we have seen that doubly reinforced section is required when the applied moment that was a uh, your ultimate moment mu is larger than mu limit okay for a singly reinforced rectangular section the difference between the applied moment and the limiting moment is carried by the additional tensile reinforcement ast2 okay and compression reinforcement asc thus a doubly reinforced section is equivalent to singly reinforced section with additional tension and compression reinforcement as shown in this particular figure 
okay so this is the this is the complete doubly reinforced section which is having the tensile reinforcement as well as compression reinforcement so it is divided into singly reinforced section okay so that uh, tension or so, uh, sorry that area of steel is known as ast1 and another additional tensile reinforcement ast2 and compression reinforcement asc okay so this is how the doubly reinforced section comprises okay so this ast1 is area of tension reinforcement for singly reinforced beam srb then uh, ast2 is equals to additional tensile reinforcement which can be calculated uh, by the formula which is given on page number 96 is 456 2000 so this formula is taken from this page number 96 asc fsc divided by 0 0.87 fy and asc is compression reinforcement again this uh, formula is taken from page number 97 of is 456 2000 mu minus mu limit divided by fsc d minus d dash okay so once again i will repeat uh, when the moment ultimate moment is larger than mu limit for a singly reinforced section the difference between the ultimate moment and the limiting moment is carried by additional tensile reinforcement and the compression reinforcement of compression zone so this was the whole idea about doubly reinforced beam so if you have understood this video please like it share it and don't forget to subscribe all about structural analysis and uh, design and also press the bell icon for the latest notifications of my videos in civil and structural engineering thank you friends